Hey guys, this is Victor from Asset Byte and I'm more than excited to show you our transition pack called Morpheus. This pack gives you very easy to use motion graphic templates for Premiere which will create those awesome morph transitions. You can easily modify them and play around with the settings so there are sheer endless possibilities for creating mind-blowing transitions. So let's jump right into it and see how they work. So we're in Premiere now and first of all let me show you how you install the motion graphic templates. So this is the folder you get. We have the templates in full HD, in ultra HD. Then we have some noise texture. I will show you that later and also some sound effects uh, that you can lay under those transitions to have a little bit more of sound design, which is also an awesome part of creating transitions. And um, so, yeah, let me show you first how you install those um, morph transitions. So we head over in Premiere and we go to the Essential Graphics window. You can find that when you go to Window and go to Essential Graphics. So I'm already in there. Then you go to the Browse window and then you just take all of those transitions. I will um, take the Full HD transitions now and show you uh, how they work because the Ultra HD basically work the same, they're just in a different resolution. So we take those, go over here, drag and drop, and now they're installed to Premiere. And we can search for them here, type in more voice, and there you have it. So we have different kind of transitions here. Most of them are wipes. Um, and we have one that is more like a mosh, like a data mosh. Uh, some of you maybe remember the trend that was there a couple of years ago. And um, so let me just grab, for example, this one here. And we head over to our timeline. So you directly see the length of the video of the transition. And uh, we have some placeholder footage here that shows you how the transition works. Make, let me make this on full. So here you can see what happens in this transition. And then here in the essential graphics window, we can see our settings for this template. And there we have essentially placeholder footage one and placeholder footage two. And what we will do now, I have, a, I have two clips here in my timeline and we want to transition between those two. So I head over we don't need the sound here, it's unimportant. So I head over here. So I drag this transition over the first clip and then uh, maybe on the uh, third track. And then I will move it to the beginning of the transition. Then we make a cut at the second clip and, and we make a cut at the first clip here at the beginning of the transition. And so what we do now is um, that we swap those, uh, let me go back to the transition here. Uh, we will swap this placeholder footage here with the first footage in the timeline here, like this one. And it's always important that the both that both clips are basically the same length as the transition. That's very important. So there are two ways to do this now. Um, first is we just nest each clip, which creates a new clip, essentially a nested clip. And this nested clip, is, we can easily just drag into our template like this. We can do the same with the second clip. And then we directly see a transition. And that's pretty cool already, but there are a bunch of settings we can adjust. And let me just show you another way how you can place the footage in the template. Just let me go back some steps. And we can go over here and go to open in timeline, but this only works if you just drag one clip first into uh, 
just anything basically i don't know for example this just drag anything into the first into those placeholders and then you can open a timeline and then uh, we can just for example take this first one here copy it and go to essential graphics here and open in timeline this opens up a timeline and here you can just uh, delete what is whatever is in there and just copy your desired clip in there that's one way to do it okay just let me go back to the initial way we did it with the nested sequences and um, now let's go over the settings so here is a placeholder noise this noise is um, responsible for the for the artifacts basically the artifacts that you see and um, we can change it to anything we want you are totally free whatever you use there but we gave you some we gave you some uh, nice noise textures in this pack already so you can just go over those files here and look for any kind of noise that you like um, if you use something different, you can also use uh, footage, you can also use uh, moving visuals, um, but the best way or the way it works best is if you have a high contrast. So black and white or maybe some gray and dark gray or black like here. So this works the best way. And for example, we can just take this noise here you directly see there's something different happening now. And the cool thing is we have more settings here. And for example, the noise angle. So here I can adjust the angle in which the noise is portrayed on this image. And uh, then we have the transition angle setting here. And this is also pretty cool because you can decide where your transition goes. And then we have um, a setting here called noise multiply. This affects the way your images get distorted by the noise. So if you increase that to, for example, two, or let's take three, you see that it's getting more distorted. And those settings are basically the same for every Mograt you will get in this pack. Just play around with those settings and see what happens. This is really a fun thing about those transitions because they are always different. They work with the footage you have. You can also just choose that there's no, no noise at all. And then it just takes the data or the information of the two available clips. So have fun with this and let me show you next how you can open those transitions in After Effects. So we are in After Effects now and um, the first thing we want to do is we head over to File and go to Open Project. And then we will just choose one of our more grids. Let me go to the Morph Voice. Where is it? I just saw you. We just go to one of our Morpheus transitions and choose open and then uh, we click extract and it creates an After Effects file out of those Mograts. Boom. And that's it. You have all the effects applied, all the um, compositions here and you can create, I don't know, if you want to play around with this here or you want to do um, migrate it to another software or create transitions in another software with those templates here you can do this in After Effects and then go over to another software of your liking and yeah that's it uh, I'm really excited to see what you will come up with those uh, transitions and um, yeah share your works with us and see you guys for the next one